Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Today I'm going to install a tempered glass screen protector by the company ESR on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So these come in a three pack, they've got an installer, and they are very reasonably priced. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and check out the results. Let's get started. So looking at the contents of the box, we've got three tempered glass screen protectors, we've got three installation kits, and we have one installation frame. Looking at the contents of the installation kit, we've got one wet wipe, we've got one dust removal sticker, and we've got a microfiber cloth. So, as I'm sure you're probably aware, cleanliness is extremely important in a successful screen protector installation. So you want to be working in as clean and well-lit environment as possible, and you want to make sure that your phone is as clean as possible before you start the installation. First off, you want to take the wet wipe and use it to clean the screen. Then use your microfiber cloth to dry it. Then you want to gently place the installation frame over your phone, clip it into place, and then carefully go over your screen with a dust removal sticker to remove any remaining dust. Next, take a look at the screen protector itself. You're going to need to pull this tab in order to remove the plastic over the adhesive part of the screen. Then you're going to put it on top of your phone screen within the bounds of the installer, making sure not to touch the adhesive part of the screen protector with your fingers. Place your finger in the middle of the screen protector and press down gently. The screen protector is going to adhere and then if you have any remaining bubbles you're going to need to push those out. So we've got a couple here on the bottom. I'm going to take off the installation frame because we don't need that anymore. And then rub these bubbles out. Looking at the results of the installation, I think things went quite well overall. The installer is easy to use. It doesn't guarantee an absolutely perfect alignment though. I ended up with a bit more screen protector on this side than on this side. But overall, still looks really good. The only real complaint I have with this is that I found bubbles to be a bit more difficult to get out than usual. However, I will say that I typically review a lot more expensive screen protectors than this one. So, considering the price at $12.99 for a three-pack, I really think that this is quite good. And I was able to get them all out except one tiny one over here. So there's that. But I think that this overall is really quite a nice screen protector and very nicely priced. So as you can see, it's very thin. The edges are mostly smooth. I did notice we have a little bit of roughness up here at the notch. But other than that, really good. Basically edge to edge coverage. I was able to fit this with a whole bunch of cases, however. I haven't actually found a case that doesn't fit with it yet. So this works with the Mouse Limitless 4.0. It works with the Rhino Shield Solid Suit, Case Defy Impact, Pataka New Mag Easy Case Pro, and the Nomad Modern Leather Case. Looks great with all of them. Overall, just a really nice screen protector. So as far as look and feel is concerned, as you can see we've got excellent optical clarity. Everything looks great there. This is very responsive. No issues with haptic touch. Slippery smooth underneath the fingertips. Seems to do a great job in repelling fingerprints so far. Overall, just a really nice screen protector. So this is going to be very good against scratching as far as impact is concerned. Typically, tempered glass screen protectors are not as good against impact as a specialized polymer screen protector would be. This one says it's going to withstand 11 pounds of force. I don't really know how to compare that to other screen protectors because other screen protectors usually say they're two times stronger than your typical screen protector or three times stronger than your typical screen protector. I don't really know what 11 pounds of force means, but honestly, if you're really worried about impact, then you probably shouldn't be getting a tempered glass screen protector. You should probably get a specialized polymer screen protector. So there is that. But overall, just a really nice screen protector. Looks good, very well priced, and it comes with an easy to use installer. Lots to love here with this tempered glass screen protector by ESR. Again, we've been looking at the tempered glass screen protector for iPhone 13 Pro Max by ESR. This product is available directly from ESR as well as from Amazon, and it's priced quite reasonably at $12.99 for a three-pack on Amazon currently. The price on ESR's website is somewhat higher. I'll put links to the product in the description below. Many thanks to the kind folks at ESR for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below, and you might want to hit that subscribe button because I have lots of iPhone 13 series case 
case and screen protector reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.